Before we get to the announcement, let's talk about what particle accelerators are. CERN's Large Hadron Collider, LHC, is like a 17-mile loop made of super-strong magnets, and it's the biggest, most powerful particle accelerator we have. It's a huge deal for science. It can even recreate the conditions from the very start of the universe. But could this thing, made to figure out the secrets of the cosmos, also be dangerous? CERN was started in 1954 and is one of the world's top research places, with 23 countries involved and thousands of people working there. It's a hub for teamwork and creativity. The LHC is CERN's main thing, but it's only part of a bigger setup of accelerators and studies. Think of it like a race track, but instead of cars, it's tiny particles racing against time and space. The LHC sends protons zooming at almost the speed of light, crashing them together to mimic the energy of the Big Bang. These crashes create temps way hotter than the sun. Tons of magnets keep the protons on track, while crazy cold cooling systems keep everything colder than outer space. The beams inside the LHC smash into each other at four spots around the ring, where there are four detectors, Atlas, CMS, Alice, and LHCB. They all do different things, looking at different parts of particle physics. Basically, they're like giant cameras taking pictures of these crashes. Scientists then dig through the mess, trying to find evidence of the Higgs boson, the God particle, and other stuff that can explain what the universe is made of. By looking at the super small, we can start to understand the super big. But every answer leads to more questions, and every discovery brings new problems. The LHC is more than just a tool. It shows how curious and inventive we are. It's about our constant search for answers and our desire to understand what makes up our universe. But as we push the limits, we also have to think about the ethics and risks. What happens when we mess with the unknown? Could we accidentally cause something bad? In CERN's labs, some news has come out that's even making the scientists nervous. Brian Cox, who used to work at CERN and knows a lot about particle physics, recently said something that has everyone talking. Cox basically said that the LHC's job is to make a mini Big Bang, a small version of the thing that created our universe. He went on to say that the LHC could make huge breakthroughs like figuring out the Higgs boson and learning about dark matter, which makes up a big part of the universe. Imagine having the power to create, to bring something into existence. It's cool, but also scary. The mini Big Bang isn't just a theory. It's something that can happen in the LHC. The temps, pressures, and energy are all like what was around at the start of the universe. It's like being there when everything began. But with that kind of power comes responsibility. What if something goes wrong? Well, it kind of did go wrong once. In 1978, a Russian physicist named Anatoly Bigarsky had an accident that changed his life forever. He was working on a machine in Russia when a proton beam shot through his head. Bigorsky said he saw a flash brighter than anything but didn't feel any pain. The beam burned through his tissues and bone, but he stayed conscious and walked to get help. Afterward, he had tissue damage, hearing loss, and part of his face was paralyzed. But he was still able to think and went on with his science career. This isn't just one guy's story. It's a warning about how powerful and dangerous particle accelerators can be. The risks with the LHC are real, unpredictable reactions and messing with space and time. These aren't just made-up fears. Scientists are actually worried about them. One of the scariest things is the chance of making a tiny black hole. Black holes are spots in space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape. Not even light. They suck up stars and are pretty mysterious. The thought that the LHC could make one, even for a split second, freaks out both regular people and experts. Could it grow out of control and swallow Earth? CERN says that any black holes would be unstable and disappear right away. But even the possibility has started debates, worries, and amazement at what we can do. To understand how the LHC could make a black hole, you need to know how accelerators work. When protons crash together close to the speed of light, the energy can warp spacetime. Imagine a trampoline with a heavy weight on it. The surface bends so much that things nearby get pulled in. That's kind of like what could happen in the LHC under extreme conditions. In quantum physics, there's a theory that there might be hidden dimensions. If so, the LHC crashes could reach these dimensions, creating a gravitational link that forms a tiny black hole. 
This whole thing has even caught the attention of famous scientists like Stephen Hawking. He warned that at super high energies, the Higgs boson could become unstable and cause a vacuum decay, which is like a cosmic event that could wipe out our planet and the whole universe. Similarly, a British scientist named Sir Martin Rhee talked about his concerns about particle accelerator experiments, including the ones at CERN. He sounded really worried and said that a bad experiment could cause this vacuum instability, which could then spread through space-time and destroy everything. Re even gave probabilities to these disasters. Even if the chance is small, he said we need to pay attention because the results would be so huge and we have so little room for error. Some scientists have done simulations and looked at the theories to say that the LHC is safe. Brian Cox himself said it's important to be careful. He knows people are scared and skeptical about the LHC, so he pointed out that there are strict safety rules to make sure everything is done responsibly. Cox said that the energy levels are like what Earth deals with all the time and that the chance of making a stable black hole is super low. And even if one did form, it would be so tiny and short-lived that it would disappear in an instant. Hawking called this Hawking radiation. It would be a quick glimpse into the unknown before vanishing. Others have even wondered if the LHC could open doors to other universes or dimensions. Most scientists don't think this is likely, but it's gotten people's imaginations going. What could be beyond what we see? Could we accidentally release forces we can't understand? Stories about gates to hell have made the rumors even wilder and created more fear. But where did these ideas come from? And what do they mean for science? The idea of other dimensions isn't new in physics. String theory says that there might be more than the three dimensions we see, length, width, height, and time. These extra dimensions might be hidden, but we could maybe reach them under extreme conditions. Think of the LHC as a key that unlocks doors that have been closed since the beginning of the universe. When protons crash together with crazy energy, we might break through into these hidden worlds. The possibilities are huge, but like with any new frontier, there are both rewards and dangers. So, the LHC is a symbol of how brave and smart we are when it comes to seeking knowledge. It's a way to figure out the deepest secrets of the universe, but also a reminder of the risks involved in exploring the unknown. With every discovery, we get closer to a place where science, ethics, and existence all meet. The big question is, what will we do when we get there? Think of the LHC like a racetrack, but instead of cars, it's tiny particles zooming around. It sends protons flying at almost the speed of light, crashing them together to mimic the energy of the Big Bang. When they smash, it gets a million times hotter than the sun. Magnets keep the protons on track, and special cooling keeps the magnets colder than space. The proton beams crash at four spots along the ring, where the particle detectors are ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each one looks at different stuff in particle physics. Basically, they're like giant cameras taking pictures of these crashes. Scientists dig through the bits and pieces, looking for things like the Higgs boson, the God particle, and other stuff that tells us what the universe is made of. By looking at tiny stuff, we learn about the big stuff. But every answer leads to new questions. The LHC is more than just some tool. It's what makes us want to learn and figure things out. It's about trying to understand the forces that made everything. That said, as we push into the unknown, we have to think about what's right and wrong, and what could happen. What are the risks of exploring stuff we don't know? Could we screw things up? At CERN, where people are always pushing the limits of what we know, something has come up that's got even the scientists worried. Brian Cox, who used to work at CERN and is a big name in particle physics, said something recently that's got everyone talking, and a bit scared. He said that the LHC's job is to make a mini Big Bang, a small version of what created the universe. He went on to talk about how it could lead to huge changes like figuring out the Higgs boson and dark matter. Imagine having the power to create, to make something like the beginning of everything. It's cool, but it's also scary. The mini Big Bang isn't just some idea. It's something they can do at the LHC. The heat, pressure, and energy are all like what it was like right after the Big Bang. It's like being there at the start of time. But with that power comes responsibility. What if something goes wrong? Well, something did go wrong once. Back in 1978, a Russian physicist named Anatoly Bugarsky had an accident that changed his life. 
He was working on a particle accelerator when a beam of protons shot through his head, in one side and out the other. He saw a flash brighter than anything, but didn't feel any pain. The beam burned through tissue and bone, but he stayed conscious and walked to get help. He ended up with damage like losing hearing and some paralysis, but he kept his mind and went on with his science career. It's a reminder of how powerful and dangerous these things can be. The risks with something like the LHC are real, unpredictable stuff happening, messing with space and time. This isn't science fiction. Scientists are actually worried about it. One of the biggest fears is making a tiny black hole. Black holes are places where gravity is so strong, nothing can escape. They suck up stars and anything else that gets too close. The thought that the LHC could make one even for a second freaks people out. Could it grow and swallow the Earth? CERN says any black holes would be too small and disappear right away. But the idea alone has caused a lot of talk, worry, and amazement at what we can do. To understand how the LHC could make a black hole, you need to know how accelerators work. When protons hit each other at almost light speed, the energy can bend space and time. Imagine stretching a trampoline and putting something heavy on it. It sinks down and pulls things in. That's kind of what could happen in the LHC under the right conditions. In quantum physics, there's a theory that extra dimensions might exist. If they do, the LHC could access them when protons collide, making a gravitational channel that forms a tiny black hole. This whole thing has gotten the attention of famous scientists like Stephen Hawking. He warned that at super high energies, the Higgs boson may become unstable, causing something called vacuum decay, a cosmic bad thing that could wipe out not just Earth, but the whole universe. Similarly, Sir Martin Rhee, a British cosmologist, talked about his worries about particle accelerator experiments like the ones at CERN. He didn't just sound cautious, but really uneasy. He said that the worst case might be an experiment causing vacuum instability, which could start a phase transition that spreads through space-time and destroys everything. Re even put odds on these catastrophes. Even if the chance is small, he said, we need to pay attention because the consequences are so huge and there's so little room for error. Some scientists have done tons of simulations and looked at the math to try and prove the LHC is safe. Brian Cox has said that it's important to be careful and that they have strict safety checks. He says the energies they reach are similar to what Earth experiences all the time and that the chance of making a stable black hole is almost zero. And even if they did make one, it would be so tiny and disappear so fast, something Hawking called Hawking radiation. It would be a quick peek into the abyss before it vanishes. Others have wondered if the LHC could open doors to other universes or dimensions. Most scientists don't take it seriously, but it's caught the public's imagination. What's beyond what we can see? Could we accidentally let loose something we can't understand? Sensational stories, like portals to hell, have made people even more worried. Where did these ideas come from? And what do they mean for science? The idea of other dimensions isn't new. String theory says that there might be more than the three dimensions we see and one of time. These other dimensions might be hidden, but we could get to them under the right conditions. Think of the LHC as a key to unlocking doors that have been closed since the start of the universe. When protons collide with enough energy, we might break through to these hidden places. The potential is huge, but like with anything new in science, there are real dangers. So, the LHC is a symbol of how far we'll go to learn about the universe. It's a tool for figuring out the biggest mysteries but also a reminder of the risks of exploring the unknown. With every discovery, we get closer to the edge of what we know, where science, ethics, and what it means to exist all come together. What will happen?